everybody. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. And everybody, too. More than everybody. All right. <laughs> so, so we'll get some, we'll do some pictures with you know, Jennifer. Right, we'll get some of the <laughs> so, yeah. so, You guys are just so close. How lovely, Jonathan. <laughs> you mean, like, oh, great. Okay. 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 What is it? Okay. 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 Okay
I've met just the, the best people. Uh, it's going to be really, really wonderful to not be moving all the time, to not be thinking about moving in the next rental and um, having housemates has been a nightmare. And I'm not kidding. The, the first one and the last ones were, were just, oh my gosh. So, so I feel like I want to do this again because um, you're good. No, you're good. Great. Good. Thank you. Well, thank you. Thank you so much for contributing to this. It's, um, it changes lives. And I'm looking forward to giving back in, in using some of the skills that I've picked up along the way this year. So, thank okay. you. But do any of our other homeowners want to speak, or are, we, are you guys good? Do you want to wave and say thank you? Yeah, go. Come on, Brahim. Together. Go. Stand right there. Okay. Stand right there. Go. That's great. Okay. okay. Hello, everyone. My name is Brahim, and this is Hasna, my wife. I just would like to take the opportunity to thank you all for your help. And I'm sorry, I'm kind of under stress. Um, I can't. Um, I can't, I can't tell how much I could thank you without Habitat and the great community you have here in all the area, I mean all the Western Mass, you see that the houses, East Hampton, North Hampton, Florence, Amherst, Greenfield right now, and we have these many houses built without you guys, without um, um, volunteers and the community and without Habitat especially, we're not, nobody gonna, I mean, not nobody, but it's, it's real hard to, to own a house. To be um, a homeowner, it's really a hard thing without Habitat. And I would like to thank you all, all volunteers, all women, especially they're, they're doing such a great job um, this uh, this week. And it's uh, it's a great thing. It's it's been um, for me. I didn't I didn't expect. I'll never I'll never think that I'm gonna have a house. I'm gonna own a house without these kind of programs that help me. Especially when, when we're talking about um, what are you making, what is your income, are you, are you able to make a house, are you able to buy a house, it's really hard. But um, since 2014 when I had some information brought to my attention um, from the in, uh, International um, ILI, which is an English language institute in Northampton, so we got some information from there that there is Habitat, that's the first day I was thinking on. This is a program, so I insist to do this. I applied three times. Really? Wow. The first time I said, people um, picked up by lottery, and, it, and I was I was kind of sure. I say, why it's not me? It's gonna be me one day. <laughs> try again and try again. So I tried it first time. There was not a chance with me. I was not picked up. Second time, about the same. Um, the, the the folder or the application was not complete. So I just I say you know what try it again. <laughs> this house I applied for it in like last minute. <laughs> I, I remember when I dropped my application and Megan says you still need this and this and they say can I just slide it under the door? She said yes. That was Friday. <laughs> I got closed man for weekend. So I did it. I went back home, get my paperwork ready, slide it underneath the door, and it's picked up. What's the surprise? The surprise is that I've been picked up for two to choose among two houses, this one and the one in Greenfield. Came up with the top of those, so it was a, a great moment when Megan called me and said, hey Ibrahim, I'll tell you something, is that you've been picked to choose a house. You're gonna be a house own, um, owner with Habitat. And I thought, really, is that true? She said, yes, you got two <laughs> houses now. <laughs> so I only applied for one, so I was excited. Um, just sharing a little bit of the, the story, I don't want to take long, but um, the most important thing is I would like to thank you all. And if uh, for any English barrier, if you don't understand anything, or if any mistake, um, I'm, I'm apologize for it. And I would like to, um, I'd like to thank everyone again and, and again. Thank you. Okay, well, 
I was gonna say that um, I'm really excited to get a house. Um, I, you know, I pretty much when I came to this country, I just had my children, myself, and you know, I'm thinking that I will one day be able to get a house was kind of out of the loop for me. I never thought that it would happen to me until I learned about this program, Habitat, and my good friend Angelique, <laughs> she's here, she prompted me. <laughs> To, to apply. She said, if, if I did it, you can do it too. So I just want to say thank you for, you know, uh, encouraging me to apply for, for Habitat and for all the volunteers. They have been really patient with me. <laughs> uh, they have been, you know, taking the time to show me how to use the tools. Um, now I feel like, you know, I, I'm getting so many skills that I, you know, I didn't uh, imagine that I will you know get the opportunity to get one day so I just want to say thank you to everybody and um, just we're building a community here not just my house it's just we all together building a community I just want to say thank you to everybody and since our focus today is on women's leadership I wanted to introduce Tahira Emetul Wadat if I said that correctly who's um, currently a candidate um, in running for office, but she's here today to speak <coughs> about women's leadership. So let's have a round of applause. What's the easiest place for people to hear me and see me? I think if you stand there and if we move, just so stand to look at you. I think we can break the formation. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yes. <laughs> okay. How about this? Is this okay. good? Hi. 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 <laughs> all right no pressure I got all these eyes <laughs> on, <me> on the <laughs> ground <laughs> well it is um, a, an honor and a pleasure for me to be here with you all my name is Tahira Amatulwadu I am an attorney I've lived in Western Mass since I was nine years old and when I see community rise together the way you have it just gives me a sense of pride in our entire region. So thank you all, thank you all to the stakeholders. Give yourselves a round of applause for making this happen here in this community. In addition to some of the work that I've done, um, I have the honor of serving as a commissioner on the Massachusetts Status on the Commission of Women. Uh, the commission's work is to uplift the voices of women throughout the Commonwealth. And one of the things that you get to hear in that role is that people feel that one of their most vulnerable spots in their lives is around housing and is around community support. So this sort of feeds my soul when I can come here and see every facet of every industry necessary to build what you all have built today, what you see physically, but then also what you built, built, which is here in the heart, which is a sense of community, belonging, and family. And so I can go back off into the rest of the world and know that it exists, that support exists, that a model for success exists, and you have personified and exemplified it. And it is beautiful for me to be able to witness. Let me just take a moment to uplift some of the partners that have made this possible. Um, the Amherst Community Land Trust, um, Habitat for Humanity, the Pioneer Valley Habitat for Humanity, the Interfaith Housing Corporation of Amherst, the Amherst Residents in the Town Meeting that was helpful with uh, respect to the Community Preservation Act, the homeowners, the volunteers, the corporate sponsors, the fiscal sponsors, you all have done it. I am honored to have been a fly on the wall to watch this come to its manifestation today. Congratulations to the homeowners. Congratulations to the entire community. Thank you. You all have a good rest of your day and I'll be around. And again, I'm very, very happy for our entire Western Massachusetts community. You all take care. <laughs> A commission on the status of women to our corporate sponsors at Lowe's to our state representative who is here to raise the walls and is now here to congratulate the women uh, 
we are so blessed by having so much great participation. Our wonderful partnership with the Amherst Community Land Trust, our wonderful neighbors at Simple Gifts Farm next door. They let us all park there and be a constant uh, source of activity right next door. And of course, the volunteers. So let's have a round of applause for all the women and men who raise hammers to make this possible. So that's the that that's the official thing we wanted to do, which is basically just to pause for a minute and say thank you because I uh, you know when we do our work. It tends to be we have uh, we have so many women who get involved in the many other aspects of Habitat, the leadership, the support and committee work, and sometimes we have to make a deliberate effort to say you're welcome in all parts of Habitat, and we hope that more women will consider construction as something that they can become engaged with, and we're so grateful to the women who have taken leadership at Habitat in construction, including our homeowner women. So thank you all. There are refreshments under the tent. Please help yourself. <laughs> and let's get one more picture with the Lowe's employees. We need the Lowe's employees. We need a picture with you guys. I got it. Nice, guys. Yeah.